Yak FM, the station with something to say. Hi there, this is Localize with me, Laura Woods, on Yak FM. Today we'll be taking your calls on our topic of the day, speaking to our special studio guest, and more. So if you want to share your views, our number's coming up in a minute. Okay, now I'm sure you've seen today's papers. If you haven't, well, there's a story regarding certain local law enforcement officers who've been involved in some dubious activities. Now, we're not able to elaborate on that story at the moment, but our topic for today is this. Is our local police force in crisis? What do you think of our local cops? Have you ever had any run-ins with the law? What happened? How did the officers treat you? Come on, call in now on 555-YAK. We're waiting. Do you remember a time when folks was real neighborly? And when your neighbors were your friends? Do you remember a time when everything was a little slower and folks took the time to say good morning? Then maybe it's time you tried Uncle Nobby's Farm Fresh Cheese. Ripened and matured the old-fashioned way, nothing beats the natural taste of Uncle Nobby's Cheese. Available all over the Hexay County area. Local Eyes with Laura Woods. Hey, Laura here with Local Eyes. Okay, we're going to go over to the phones. Hello, Buck. You're on Yak FM. What do you have to say about our local police? Cops. Yes? I like them. I see. Any reason? Nope. Well, thanks for calling. Buck there in Stenchton. He likes cops. Okay, over to line three. Hello, caller. You're on Local Eyes. Uh, uh, hi, Laura. It's about, it's about, it's about that guy's c- c- call. Hmm? I, uh, um... I like cops, too. Any reason why? Not, not really. Are you a cop? Uh, tell her no, boy. N- n- no, please don't. No! Is someone there with you, Caller? No, he's here alone, ma'am. Caller, are you okay? I have to go now, L- L- Laura. Was that okay? Hello, Line 4. You're on Localize. Always making with the cops. Excuse me? And if it ain't cops, it's the feds. Do you have a view you'd like to share with us, Caller? Do you have a view you'd like to share with us, Caller? Yeah, I got a view. But I ain't sure it was no pink old commie broad. I don't know. You get so riled up just thinking about our boys in blue and that you gotta go out and make a whole show out of it. Then you start with all this, oh, police brutality, I'm scared. And I bet if your house got broken into, you'd be calling those cops like there was no tomorrow. Well, if... Cops, 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 police brutality, spy satellites, tasers. So what's wrong with tear gas and a couple of beatnik no good bums, huh? What difference does it make? I'll tell you, none. And if you ain't happy with that, then move back to Russia. So and take your free love with you. So what you're saying is that I ain't saying nothing. Me, I'd give them tanks. Let them blow that shit out of anybody who comes in their way. But will they do it? Nah. Because there's always liberal, tree-hugging pinkos like you coming down on them if they so much as look at you. Please watch your language there, caller. Ha! Ah, I suppose it'd be better if I spoke Russian or Chinese, right? Well, you listen to me. It's all about freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of movement, freedom of information, and freedom to dance naked! Excuse me? No, oh, who cares? The cops, they got a job to do. And if you're going to give them the job, I say give them the tools. Helicopters, water cannons, and flamethrowers. Well, thanks for that, caller. Ah, uh, whatever. Tonight on WAMQ, Justice has a new name. Magruder, Vigilante Orthodontist. By day, he straightens teeth. By night, he straightens the record. Magruder, Vigilante Orthodontist. 9 p.m. on WAMQ. This is Laura Woods with Local Eyes on Yak FM. We're discussing the state of our local law enforcement, so if you have a view you'd like to share, call in now. Still to come, I'll be talking to Dr. Lansing B. Heston about his controversial new diet plan. Lies. We'll be back after this. Do you drive a truck? Or maybe you never move from your sofa. Whatever you do, we'll bet you spend all day sitting on your fat behind. And that can lead to painful hemorrhoids. Ah! But now you can say goodbye to rectal agony with Ease Away Soothing Pile Cream. Ask your pharmacist for Ease Away Soothing Pile Cream. Now available in regular peach and new barbecue sauce flavors. Oh, fetch the pile cream. Ease Away Soothing Pile Cream. Ah. 
Okay, just before we move on to today's mass debate, the Women Farmers League of Skeeters Creek have asked me to once again point out that they're women who are farmers and not farmers who breed women. So please remember, if you attend their auction today, it's the cattle that are for sale, not the ladies. Now, joining me in the studio is Dr. Lansing B. Heston, renowned author of the controversial bestseller, The Dr. Lansing B. Heston Diet. Hello, Dr. Heston. Yeah. Now, there's been a lot of controversy regarding your diet plan. Yeah, that is correct, lady woman. Too many stupid people are buying my book and not following the diet plan correctly. Mm, and that explains the deaths. Yeah. Well, Dr. Heston, if you could expand upon that. Buy my book. The Dr. Lansing B. Heston diet, and you will understand. Well, Dr. Heston, I've actually got a copy here, and if I just glance over it, ah, day five of the diet plan? Yeah? It says breakfast, one egg, lunch, one egg, dinner, magma. Yeah. Isn't that a little dangerous, eating magma? Do you have proof of that? That eating magma is dangerous? Uh, not firsthand, no, but... Then how can you claim that eating magma is dangerous? <laughs> Dr. Heston, it's common sense that... No, it is not. You lie. If you'll let me finish... No, I refute your evidence. Are you actually a qualified doctor? Are you? Well, no, but I'm not claiming to be one either. But you insist you know that eating magma is not good for the human body, something surely only a doctor could confirm or deny. Hmm? Answer the question! Dr. Heston, we invited you onto the show so that you could answer allegations that your diet plan has caused 93 deaths in the Hick State County area alone. My qualifications aren't the issue here. I believe they are. And I believe you invited me here to humiliate me and make me appear evil, you vermin. Well, you're entitled to your opinion, but the real issue here is that you're advocating a diet plan that's proven fatal for 93 people in the last month alone. How many people in this so-called Hick State County area did not die in the last month? What? How many of them were following my diet? Well, as your diet advocates the consumption of highly dangerous substances like magma, metal filings, and sump oil, I'd say none. Lies. How do you know that, little girl, huh? Tell me. Answer now. Oh, we'll be right back. Dr. Heston, thank you. Lunga, cheat, spreader of falsehood, I spit on you. Tonight on Windy Nook... Jenna, why won't you talk to me? Brandon, I... It's Doug, isn't it? Jenna, listen to me. Doug's dead. Oh, no. Don't say that. But it's true, Jenna. I saw him fall from the plane. Uh, Let him go, Jenna. <gasps> Doug! Where's my dinner? See the heartbreaking conclusion tonight at 8 p.m. Only on WANQ. Okay, that's it for today's localized slot. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you've enjoyed listening. I'd like to thank all our callers, sorry our phone lines went down, and my special studio guest, Dr. Lansing B. Heston. Nine! Thanks for listening, and until next time, this is Laura Woods signing off. Hey, do you like to party? Then why not say Bona Tavara to Lucky Pierre's? This month sees our annual Best Groomed Mustache Competition reaching its climax, plus our exclusive exhibition of Greco-Roman wrestling. Oh, have fantabulous essay. Get yourself down to Lucky Pierre's showboat and discotheque, Fisherman's Wharf, South Sea City. See you soon, vato. Yak FM, the station with something to say. Women's Hour. Hey, folks, this here's Billy Ray Stumps, standing in for Libby Jones and bringing you today's Women Folk Show thing. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about babies and purdy dresses and stuff. Shoot, I don't know. So anyway, ladies, if you're out there, then call in now and we'll get us a show going. Now, before we go any further, I reckon I'd best introduce my special guest here in the studio. You all knows her, if you listen to this show, that is. And it's the psychic lady and fortune teller, Crystal Sinclair. Howdy, little lady. 
Hail and well met, Billy Ray. Now, if you folks ain't never heard Crystal before, I gotta say you're in for a real plum treat. See, Crystal's got a gift of clairvoyance, so if you folks got something kind of spooky in your house, or you want to ask Uncle Jimbo where he done left his fortune, then you call in now, and we'll set Crystal on of it. Yep, that sure will be fun. Say, we'll be right back after this. A tropical campiches, a taste of the tropics. Women's Hour. Hey, Billy Ray Stumps here with this women folks show. Now, we ain't had his no callers calling in yet. I reckons you ladies is too busy painting your nails or sitting on your fat behinds eating candy to call us. <laughs> so I reckon we should see what's going to happen in the future. See? Crystal's an astronomer. Astrologer? Yeah, that too. And she's been a-gazing into her crystal ball and stuff, and she's going to tell us what's going to happen next. Ain't that right, sugar pie? I'm not your sugar pie. My name is Crystal Sinclair. It sure is, darling. Oh, wait. We ain't got time to listen to Crystal's astronomy stuff. Looks like we got us a caller on line six. Howdy there, honey buns. Hello? Yes? Well, howdy there, little missy. Say, now, ain't you real smart, managing to call in the show and everything? I'm not a little missy, and I'm beginning to think that calling this show wasn't a smart move on my part. Well, ain't that nice. <laughs> so what you want to tell us about, darling? You got a new recipe for pie, maybe? Or is you having troubles keeping your trailer clean or something? Actually, as the mayor of Salt Sea City... Well, shoot, ain't that nice. And how's life working out being the wife of the mayor? No. Moron, I'm not married to the mayor. I am the mayor. Course you are, darling. You just keep thinking that, and it'll all turn out real fine. Look, I'm calling to complain on behalf of the millions of working women in this country who... Hold up there one second, Missy. If you're talking about working women, we're going to have to cut you off. This here's a family show, you see? What? I seen them working women. I know what they is and where they are, too, and how much they charges for you to... I'm talking about the women of America who work in our offices, stores, hotels, restaurants, and, of course, the home. I gots to stop you there, sugar pie. If you's at home, then you ain't working. So you think houses clean themselves? No, that's what a wife's for. But if she's at home and she's cleaning for you, doesn't that mean she's working? See, this is the kind of attitude that just shows the level of ignorance I've encountered all my working life. Well, you know what, then? Maybe you should have just stayed at home. How dare you? Well, thanks for calling, Missy. So, ladies, you heard that. See, it ain't that difficult to call in. So you do that now, and we'll have us a real nice talk. We'll be back after this. Are you single and looking for love? It's hard, isn't it? Maybe you're shy around women. Or maybe you suffer low self-esteem. Perhaps you're just not attractive. Whatever the reason, you can still find love calling the Singles Telephone Dating Line. We have thousands of people just like you, all looking for that special person. Call now on 555-1900-STD. Calls charged at $12 for the first minute, followed by a fixed rate charge of $9 per subsequent minute. Minimum call length, 87 minutes. The use of a female voice on this advertisement feature is in no way intended to imply that there will be female subscribers using the singles telephone dating line. Women's Hour, 900 STD. Hey, folks, this is Billy Ray Stump standing in for Libby Jones on this woman folks show. Now, we got us a caller, a feller this time, so maybe I'll get me a decent conversation. Hey there, Willie Joe, you on the radio. You reckon Turner's gonna go all the way for the Eagles this playoff? I reckon so, Billy Ray. Anyway, we're on the women folks show, so I guess we better talk women stuff. Uh, okay. Well, listen, Billy Ray, it's, it's that crystal chick you got there with you. Uh-huh. Is she hot? Because <laughs> she sounds kind of hot. Well, she ain't that pretty, and she could do with dropping a few pounds, but I wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating cookies. You should see the look she's giving me now, boy. I tell you, it's a good job I got her microphone turned off. Tell you what, buddy, you stay on the line and give us your address. I'll send you out a picture of old Crystal here. See if I can get her to make that kind of personal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for calling there, partner. Now, there you go, ladies. See, the good folks at Yak FM give you the time for a show all about women folk stuff, and the only call we get's worth dealing with is from a guy. Me, I wouldn't give this show the time of day, but I ain't the fella in charge. Anyways, we'll be back after this with Crystal's astronomy stuff. Tonight on WANQ. From the people who brought you cop-related drama and hospital-related drama comes lawyer-related drama. You don't want me to defend you because I'm a woman. I don't want you to defend me because I love you. Objection. Overruled. Your Honor, with all due respect, you can't allow this person in here. And with all due respect to you, Counselor Spengler, I love you. You gotta testify, Janie. I do. Then Rick will find out about us. I know, but I don't care anymore. Lawyer-related drama, tonight on WANQ. Well, it's time for Crystal to do her stuff. Well met, listeners. I'm Crystal Sinclair. Clairvoyant, psychic, astrologer, and... Can you get on with it, Missy? Here are today's horoscopes. Aries, I sense a man called Lars will insult you in some way. Perhaps he doesn't like your hat, or he thinks you're unattractive. Destiny will call today, but you'll be out shopping. Doris, today your life will change forever in some way. The fates are showing me your lucky number is 27,934. Gemini, you're feeling stressed and tired. That will soon change. In the meantime, just think happy thoughts. Destiny suggests limping for sympathy. Cancer, today is best avoided. Stay in bed. Uh, you ain't you ain't a cancer, is you? No. Shame, cause we could uh, maybe... Leo, your fiery temper could be your undoing today. You may end up in court regarding an assault charge filed by a midget. Virgo, ah, today will be your day, sweet Virgo. But you'll be too busy to notice. Take time out to reflect upon your life. Destiny wears a poncho. Libra. Your wife, Candice, is cheating on you with your best friend, Jimmy. You know, the guy who works in the convenience store. Destiny says winners carry chainsaws. Scorpio, today you will meet a new and exciting person, but they won't like you. Weeping is suggested. Sagittarius, your best friend has just found out you're having an affair with Candace, his wife. Destiny suggests not going to work at the convenience store today and instead leaving the state. Capricorn. Hey, that's my sign. So what's in store for me? Don't tell me. I'm going to get me some loving off a special astro astronaut lady, right? Capricorn, nobody likes you. Especially astrology ladies. I reckon you're just making this up. Aquarius, today will be the worst day of your life as you end up having to listen to the boorish, ill-educated ramblings of a redneck with the IQ of an amoeba. Destiny suggests not tuning in to this show until Libby returns. And finally, Pisces. Destiny suggests you begin a petition to have Billy Ray Stumps banned from broadcasting for the remainder of his pitiful life. Alternatively, you could firebomb his house. Nobody would care. I'm Crystal Sinclair. Until next time. Well, there you go, ladies. That was Crystal's Astronomy Thing. I sure hope you enjoyed it, because I knows how you women folks is all obsessed with the stars and such like... Ain't nothing but a bunch of load of fish heads, if you ask me. Anyways, we gotta go to a commercial. Ahoy there, mateys! If you're like me, then you'll love the taste of the sea. No, not salt water, fish! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, now you too can enjoy wholesome seafood every day of the week, not just on Tuesdays, with my delicious range of seafood products. At Captain Barnacles, we take whatever aquatic creatures we have at hand, then mash them to a pulp, add some rotting potatoes, benzene, tasty bulkifying agents, and other things you don't want to know about, and heat it all up before processing it through an old machine. The result is Captain Barnacles Catch of the Day Marine Life Based Foodstuffs. Ha <laughs> ha! Set sail for taste, me hearties! Women's Hour. Hey, ladies, welcome back to the show. 
Now, sitting here with me's Dr. Jenny Powers. Howdy, sugar. Go on, just park them buns right down there. Who clever girl. Um, hi. Now, is it true you're a real doctor? Yes, Billy Ray, that's right. I mean, you didn't just marry a doctor so you could use his name or nothing. No, Billy Ray. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Huh. Well, that ain't something you see every day. Anyways, so why'd you hear, Doc? Well, this is the part on Libby's show when listeners call in with their problems and I try to offer advice. Uh-huh. Sounds real interesting. Anyway, the switchboard's lit up like a Christmas tree on the 4th of July, so let's take a your call. Hey, Sugar Pie, you on with Billy Ray and Dr. Powers. Hi, Dr. Powers. Hi, caller. How can we help? Well, see, it's my husband. I reckon he's fooling around with somebody else. He don't spend no time with me. Well, Missy, I can understand that. I ain't even met you, and I'm sick of you already. Let's get over to Daisy on line four. Hi, Daisy. How are you today? It's okay. Just take your time. I- I'm kind of nervous. That's okay. No, that's my problem. I, I want to um, talk about... See, it's getting so I ain't got no self-esteem or nothing. And I feel like um, guys ain't, ain't interested in me. And um. Listen up, sweet cheeks. All you got to do is get yourself a pretty hairstyle and a real short skirt. Then the fellas will come flocking to you like pigs around Swill, unless she's real ugly or something. Well, Billy Ray, I think Daisy's issues are more deeply seated than that in seeing things like... Is you real ugly, caller? What? Well, um, I don't... I mean, maybe if you say so. Well, then it looks like you was right, Doc. Yes, Billy Ray. You see, Daisy... I shouldn't have said nothing about wearing a short skirt or nothing if you're so ugly. I reckon you should just lock yourself away something and never come out again. Right, Doc? See, this ain't so difficult. I reckon I could get me a doctor ship like you. I'm sorry, but I refuse to work with this jerk any longer. Now, calm down there, sugar bunny. All you... Hey, truckers, when you're on the road, sometimes you know you've got to be able to stop your rig in a real hurry. Hoo-wee! We've all been there before. And that's why I chose Achy Breaky Brake Pads. Yeehaw! Avoid heartache with Achy Breaky Brake Pads. Not a legally binding claim. Problems of an interpersonal nature cannot be aided with this product. Purchase does not guarantee emotional satisfaction or stability of personal relationships. That's a mighty powerful right jab you got there, Doc. I don't know what happened. I guess I just snapped and... Oh, don't you fret, none. Ain't the first time Billy Ray's been laid out for shooting off his mouth and sure won't be the last. Say, are we still on? Son of a bitch! Are you sick and tired of folks laughing at you, livestock? Are your pigs kind of small? Maybe your chickens ain't always supposed to be. Well, you ain't gonna fret no longer, neighbor. See, the good folks at Animal Kindness Products, well, they got everything you need for your livestock. Chicken nippers, pig exaggerators, critter manipulators, and more. Get yourself down to your local store now for animal kindness products.